Welcome back to Wallington Filming, Paint and Decorating, Trade Secrets, the videos they don't want you to see. Hosted by, yours truly, The Candleman. I'm going to show you the procedures that I'm going to do before I bring the spray gun in on the second day. Now you must bear in mind, right, you know, this is for spraying a new build property, right, for you house bashers. So this is what this video is designed for, just to show you how you go about spraying a new build property and it's really focused at you house bashers who uh, are thinking of doing what I'm going to do. So let me show you the procedures that I'm going to do getting it ready for spraying tomorrow. And uh, this is a bit of a video on uh, what to do first in your new build property if you're going to spray it out. Right, so I'm just going to go go through the procedures of what I'm going to do on day one before I bring my spray gun in on day two. The first thing I'm going to do is get these frames filled up so they're dried off so I can rub them down later on in the day because when I do the cutting in with the spray gun right I'm going to actually hit a lot of the architrave etc um, as I'm cutting in with a wall colour. So it's going to hit the arc trip and it's going to, the emulsion is going to go over the filler and it makes it a little bit harder to rub down. So first thing when you get in a plot <clears throat> uh, is get everywhere wet filled, which is mix your filler up and get all, all your woodwork, frames, skirting boards, door edges, the lot. First thing you do, fill up. Next thing you want to be doing is gun filling all your frames, down your architraves, above your skirtings, etc. That's the next thing you want to do. The next procedure is go around the whole house and get some uh, high tack uh, wide masking tape and mask it. Put the masking tape on around all your light switches. Like so around all your plugs. So go around the old house, do all them. <clears throat> and any like smoke alarms, etc. So yeah, go around and get oh, that. And in between all that, well, pour yourself a cup of tea. And if uh, you like smoking, have a cigarette as well, why at it? But you won't be giving that, that up because that's not good for you. But that's okay. Dude. Right then, so when you've done all that, your frames should be ready to rub down. So yeah, get all your frames rubbed down. And look at that. I'm even talking and my lips are not moving. 
brilliant, can I? And look how fast I'm going. I tell you, the uh, fastest paint off there is going, me. And uh, I'm not really at work talking about rubbing this rain down. I'm at home now, sitting down, watching the TV and a cup of tea. So, yeah. Right, so when you've rubbed all your uh, frames down, right, <clears throat> one of the next uh, processes before the spray is get them dusted off. Because when you uh, when you're doing the cutting in with the wall colour, you're going to actually hit the frame with the wall colour. Which is okay because you've got to undercoat it, so. And also, at the same time rubbing your frames down, just give your, uh, your doors a bit of a D-nib and dust them off at the same time. Get enough time in the day, get these window boards sanded down and dusted off, like I've done here. Pretty easy job, but get that done if you can. Right, I hope you enjoyed this little video, which was solely to show you guys the procedures that I go through, right, to get the plot ready for the spray gun to come in on the second day. Now, obviously, on the first day, you can only do so much. So, like I say, you know, first thing I do, go around, fill everywhere up, any, any woodwork that needs filling, fill walls up, etc. That's my first thing. But I do start by going around and filling all the door casings and arches, right, first. Then I'll go around and do all the skirtings. The reason is, I want them door frames to dry off so I can get, get them rubbed down before I go over on the first day because they're going to get hit by the wall colour when I cut in with a spray gun. Second thing, go around, gun fill everything up. Skirting boards, archers, you name it, do all the gun filling. Next thing, go around and mask it, put masking tape on all your plugs and sockets and uh, Make sure you do that right because, you know, if it's overlapping onto the plaster, you know, you're defeating the uh, object a little bit. Right, so ground and, you know, get masking tape on every, all around the plugs because you're going to blast straight over there with a wall colour in there. Right, and then rub all your frames down. That's your next, one of your next jobs. Get, get all your frames and arbitrage rubbed down and get them all dusted off. At the same time, Give all your doors a bit of a D-nib, get all your doors dusted off, right? And whatever, whatever time you've got left, rub your windowsills down, get them dusted off. Yeah, so get, basically get all the prep work done. Now, you must bear in mind, you're only going to get so much done in, in the first day. When you come in with that spray gun on the second day, you know, you might get a bit... A little bit extra done before, you know, while, whilst it gets light, maybe it's a bit dark in the morning, you might get a little bit extra done. But as soon as you're ready, you want to get that spray gun out and start cutting in. And the first thing I'm going to do is like cut all the ceiling lines in with a white. And, you know, if you want, you, you can spray your ceilings while you're at it in white. Next thing, I'm going to feed the maggie through. If, you, if I'm doing Maggie walls, and I'm gonna get the old lock cut in with, uh, with Maggie. So, you know, but if you get time, go around and do all your door edges, if they're in bare timber, you can drag that in as well, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's basically how I go about preparing for uh, emulsioning the plot out of the spray gun. So, hope you enjoyed this little video from yours truly, the candle man. Um, don't forget to subscribe yourself if you haven't done already help support these free videos thanks to all my supporters who have already subscribed nice one, much appreciated boys and girls 
uh, and if you like the content of the video, give us a thumbs up. Nice one. Comments most welcome. And uh, get ready for how to spray your plots out in the next video. It's coming up really soon. So, until next time, from Wellington Filming, The Candleman. Catch you later.